Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, now I will be introducing another magnetic sensor that is MMC three three one six XMT. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com and here search on for this sensor that is MMC three three one six XMT. As you can know, uh, you can see clearly that it's a plus minus sixteen gauss three axis magnetic sensor, and these are some of its features which you can notice on the screen also also you can have the opportunity to purchase the uh, sensor from this very site right from here further i will be interfacing the magnetic sensor mmc 3316xmt with an arduino nano and for the resource tab i will be getting the arduino code sample to interface and you can download the arduino code sample as a zip file from this very site also you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control of the community now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to fulfill the video to work let's have it in the hardware connection setup the first thing we require is an arduino nano and this here is an i2c sheet it's available on the website controleverything.com and we are using it to make connections with other i2c devices and the connection should be a lot easier that's why we are using it now gently place the arduino nano over the i2c sheet and make a connection the next part is to provide a requirement of the sensor that is magnetic sensor MMC 3316XMT and this here and here comes a connecting cable. This is very useful in making a connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected uh, to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C sheet. Now the last part is to provide the power and for that we require a mini USB cable just like that and gently insert it over the power jack of the Arduino Nano and we are done with the connections part. So the next requirement is of the code and let's see how it interfaces with the sensor. For the interfacing part uh, to get the Arduino code the first step is to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and here click over it and then we we get uh, the search for the sensor that is MMC3316XMT and this is the Arduino code we are looking for to explore but before that let's have a look over the instructions we need to fulfill this and it says that we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and the steps to install Arduino are being provided on this very link arduino.cc uh, let's open up this link so that we can have a better perspective regarding the installation process and it says that you can download the Arduino software and it runs on Windows, Mac and Linux operating system. It depends upon your accessibility and your need on which platform you want to work on. So do it as your suits. Uh, now get back to the code as you can see it's a dot .in extension file and after that in the code uh, look precisely that uh, first step is to include y.h library and then we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x30. Now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and initialized serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Now comes the writing part where we are sending commands to do something for the sensor and it says that we have to select control list having address 0x07 and initiate measurement continuous mode coil set that is 0x23. Then in the second command we are selecting control list having address 0x07 and we are sending the coil not set command which is 0x00. The last part is to select control list 0 having address 0x07 and initiate measurement continuous mode coil reset is the command we are sending there having the address of 0x43. Then we want to get the data back from the sensor that is the reading part and we are selecting the magnetometer data register having address 0x00 and we are requesting 6 bytes of magnetic field data uh, as you can see for x, y and z which are the perpendicular axis as you already know the sensor is a 3 axis magnetic sensor. So note it down and then after that we have the conversion of the data takes place which is according to the guidelines clearly described in the data sheet for MMC3316 XMT. Now what do we need is to show the output, display the output on the serial monitor which is the magnetic field in X, Y and Z axis and it's the raw values for the field axis. So note it down. Now this is the code how it works. To show that let's proceed. 
Now for the working part, the first step is to copy this entire code of the Arduino for the sensor MMC 3316MT XMT and now open up the Arduino here and in this Arduino terminal what we have to do is to paste the entire code and save it by the name MMC 3316XMT for the reference and then save it then verify and compile the code and after that uh, it's done compiling then upload the code it will take some time but it will be over soon uh, it's done uploading now what we want to do is to show the output on the serial monitor so let's open up as you can see we have the magnetic field in all three perpendicular axes x y and z it's almost constant because there is no interference regarding the magnetic field but when i bring a bar magnet near the sensor you can see and sense the change in the values for all three perpendicular axes for the magnetic field that is x y and z when i move in, uh, when I'm trying to move this bar magnet over the sensor, there is a continuous change in all the three values, x, y, and z axis. So this is how the sensor works. Now what we're gonna do is to show the benefit and the features along with the applications regarding the magnetic sensor MMC 3316 XMT. Let's. The MMC 3316 XMT is a complete three-axis magnetic sensor with on-chip signal processing and integrated I2C bus. The device can be connected directly to a microprocessor, eliminating the need for A to D converters or timing resources. It can measure magnetic fields with a full scale range of plus minus 16 gauss with 2 milligauss per LSB resolution and 2 milligauss RMS noise, enabling heading accuracies of less than 1 degree in electronic compass applications. Due to these uh, good features, it's applicable in a uh, lot features like uh, electronic compass, GPS navigation assist positioning sensing this sensor is available and can be purchased from the website control everything.com as you can see and you can have the code from resource tab and you can download this as a zip file from this website you can also have the code and you can download it from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end uh, i just want to make it clear that in case of any part uh, where you have some queries you can reach us on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page of this website like this now for articles and blogs which are relevant to this sensor or video you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials just like this go to our youtube channel and follow them and subscribe it in the end i hope you enjoyed this video and you liked it so thanks a lot for watching